What's going on guys, Thomas from Thomas Performance here. Here we have a 2018 Chevy Colorado with the V6 and the 8-speed transmission. We're gonna be bolting on the new Edelbrock supercharger system, uh, air to liquid intercooled, comes with calibration, emissions legal. We're over here at New Air Performance right now, loading it up on the dyno to get the stock baseline so we can give you true numbers, not from the manufacturer, um, outside of what they're claiming to do. So we'll see what this thing does. the truck a lot before the supercharger how many yeah. miles are on this thing right now we're at uh, 12,500 okay. and I bought the truck with 4,000 miles on it okay. I bought it used it's a 2018 3.6 let's talk a little bit about the way it was okay that the v6 the Chevy v6 isn't bad it's, it's good but it's only really good at when it's in the higher RPM range so low end it doesn't have much of anything so I was concerned with being able to tow with this thing where I do want some torque and I do want some low end performance so that's why I went to you and that's why we went to the Edelbrock supercharger what are you going to be towing I'm going to be towing a Z06 Corvette it's a race so a boosted Colorado right, right. towing so, a non-boosted Z06. Correct. And uh, I tell you, I'll be straight up honest with you, okay? I was concerned about it being like it already was, stock. Feeling stock, you know, I just was looking for a little more performance, but nothing that's going to give me any kind of warnings, any kind of trouble at all. I don't want it. Okay, the Edelbrock system, if you ask me, um, fits that bill to where it's basically plug and play. So that's what it kind of felt like. You guys put it in for me. I have not had one warning light. I've not had any hiccups at all in the last. I've been driving this for about a thousand miles since you um, swapped it out. Just because I wanted to see if I could see any problems with it. It's been flawless. And I'm telling you right now that this should be an option with Chevrolet. They'd sell a million of these damn things because this truck right now, super fun to drive. It's not gonna get someplace super, super crazy fast. If you want that, buy a sports car. But if you want a truck that runs like it's stock, but yet has a little power in it, that's a supercharge you wanna put in it, man. It's flawless. I just wanna make this 100% clear. I'm not being I paid approached for this. you, <laughs> said, hey, you have this. We want to tow your Corvette to the track because I'm tired of towing your car to the track. I'm just kidding. No. I'll tow your car to the track any day. No. Um, but, no but, but the thing is, is I can't always go to the track with you and you can't always have your car right. on my trailer. So right. doing this, you're not being paid by me. You're not being no. paid by Edelbrock. We're doing this as a demonstration to show people real figures oh, yeah, that's not legit. from the manufacturer not from no. uh, someone else that sells the product 
We right. sell the product at the shop. Um, we installed the product at the shop. We took the truck to New Era Performance in All we did was uh, Agora. Just test. Yeah. And no we tune, did a test. before dyno. Um, we did an, an after the install of the supercharger dyno. Um, the before numbers, we were at 243 horsepower. Um, bone stock. Um, the only thing that we did not have in the truck when it was bone stock was 91 octane. So we might have picked up a little bit. Nothing drastic with 91 octane fuel um, Correct. on the stock. But now we got 91 octane, the supercharger, Edelbrock calibration, carb compliant, EO number, smog legal. So all I'd say is this, okay? If you're someone that's got a mid-sized pickup truck like this one is, right? When I bought this truck, I bought it because I wanted a little truck that's easy to park and get around and fits in a garage halfway worth of darn, right? So that's why I picked this thing up, okay? At the time, I had no interest in towing that Corvette, but then things changed and all of a sudden, either I gotta sell this thing and buy a Silverado or and I don't really want to because I like this little truck, okay, or um, do something to this thing. But I wanted to do something that is, I don't have to worry about getting smogged. I just wanted something drama free that gave me a decent amount of power to where I'm not going to have a problem towing anything, upgrades and things like that. That's why I turned to this. So right now as we're looking at it, you're looking at a car that, or a truck anyway, that's putting out about the same amount of power as a V8 Silverado in a smaller truck. Yeah. You could go, it, now I drive this, I don't drive hot rod this thing around or anything, I just drive it normal. Okay, and I'll tell you right now, the engine works less now than it did. So fuel economy's gone up probably, you don't see it so much on the freeway because on the freeway this thing got great gas mileage But in the city this thing got terrible gas mileage stock Okay with it the way it is right now. It gets good gas mileage on the street. I mean the engine isn't working half as hard as it used to So power to weight ratio doesn't take as much to get going anymore, right? Yeah, obviously, you know, but it just I tell you what it makes the truck a sweet little truck. This truck is sweet super fun to drive Ask Thomas. Thomas drives it. He likes it too. I do know? burnouts and donuts. Yeah, and I don't. I'm not. I'm, I'm not prescribing any of that crap. Okay. But just to just drive a truck, this thing's nice, man.